for Mac or anybody who would know, I've been considering giving my eyesight of maybe going to a red dot. I've uh, been looking at getting the SIG P365, and you can get those that come with a red dot. I've never used one on a pistol. I'm wondering if the learning curve is worth the benefit of having it or just stay with what I know, stay with my iron sights and leave it be. Any thoughts or advice? Yeah, with, with failing, so, you know, me, I'm, I'm in that boat. I can't see the, the iron sights. It's all a blur. It's all a big blur. But I've learned how to embrace the blur. That's what I call it. Embrace the blur. Embrace the blur. But I do that on the range because not everybody has a red dot. If there was one class I had where everybody had a red dot, guess what I did? Boom, red dot. <laughs> because everybody had one in that class. You will be so happy with that red dot, it's not even funny. <laughs> yeah. You will be happy with that thing because you be, you'll be able to see it. There's a learning curve, but you know, that could be mitigated through dry fire. You know, you could just put in the reps, put in the reps, put in the reps, dry fire, dry fire, dry fire. Okay. Yep. Because it's also a battlefield multiplier when it comes to accuracy. So anything you know, outside of like 15 yards and beyond, it's uh, super, super accurate. It's going to slow you down initially speed wise, you know, uh, like picking that thing up. But um, yeah, I would say it's the, it's the way of the future. Uh, it's, 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 it's worth, worth the, uh, Worth the effort the, to learn. The, the, yeah, the juice is worth the squeeze on that one. <laughs> okay. yep. I don't. I don't have near the. Uh, I don't hear. I don't have near the rounds behind me that you do. But uh, I, I. I do appreciate that because I've really been considering it. But I don't know anybody that's done a transition. Yep. And I know. I remember you had mentioned something on one of your uh, vlogs or something about the red dot at one point. So I just thought I'd throw it out there and ask. Cool. Yep. Yep. Um. I. I, I train with mine periodically. Uh, because eventually everybody will have them eventually and they're getting better and better you know as far as like adverse weather conditions fogging up collecting rain water all that crap they're getting better and better but it's also a good idea to have raised iron so you can use those backup because now you're dealing with a battery right. and if you have battery powered optic you got to have backup irons yeah. non-negotiable